you ever seen a mob of Muslim British protesters in the street confronting the police, chanting Allah Akbar and free, free Palestine, free, free Palestine, threatening the police, pushing at the police. You've probably seen a video like that. <clears throat> I'd like to tell you something. The same thing happened during the Vietnam War. American students, young people of draft age, 18, 19, 20, were instigated in the same way as these Palestinians, by the same people, for the same reason. And these instigators of this violence, this protest, 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 dissent, yelling, confrontation, the instigators of this trouble also instigated labor riots. Before that, they infiltrated labor unions. The same instigators who infiltrated labor unions, which often resulted in confrontations with the police, instigated the Vietnam War protests as well and today they are instigating Muslims radicalizing helping to radicalize Muslims along with those so-called clerics whether they call them mullahs or muftis or sheiks or whoever the dudes with the turbans no disrespect to any particular religion and no offense to any particular ethnic group. I am pointing out the party that is behind this trouble. I am against this party that instigated labor riots back in the 20s and 30s and 40s who instigated war protests repeatedly, but especially during the Vietnam War years. And this movement resulted in a whole lot of left-leaning wackos masquerading as politicians who entered the U.S. government and who are still there. And they also entered the schools and the colleges and the uh, media. Behind all this rot, all this filth, all this insanity, is the damnable communist movement, Marxists, socialist, communist, whatever you want to call them. Sickos. They are sick, misguided people. A few of them who know how to instigate a little crowd and get it on TV so that the majority sees this and is misled by it. These leftards, these sickos, these Marxists are attempting to get power. And the way they do it is by causing trouble. People fall for it. People are beheaded. Innocent students and guilty students are shot by National Guardsmen. Police end up pounding the heads of these people with their batons. Cars get burned and turned over and storefronts get smashed and the fingers are pointed at society. It's the communists. It's a few, a handful of communists. These same instigators, there are several different branches of the communist movement and I suspect that the branch that I'm referring to could more precisely be called the anarchists. A lot of them came from Russia and Eastern Europe because the Bolsheviks recognized them for what they were and chased them out and attempted to kill them. I don't know what branch of communism Trotsky was, but he was exiled 
he lived in Europe for a while. He lived in Mexico for a while. He was popular among certain communists in the United States until he was assassinated on the orders of Stalin. The whole communist movement, which will include Hitler, I don't know if it, it doesn't include Mussolini or Franco of Spain, to my knowledge. But the Bolsheviks were Marxist, communist, socialist, sickos, criminals, twisted people, psychotic. And of course the Nazis were too. This is a madness, it's an insanity that is injected into, into society which destabilizes and makes the society ill. Let's zero in on the cause, on the instigators, the few madmen who are yanking our chains, pushing our buttons, causing us to hate another group who has frankly been Put up against us just like people who fight pit bulls. Neither dog is guilty. They're provoked. They're instigated. They are instinctive. They're not thinking. It's not logical. It's all a reaction. And that's what these sickos love. They love to see one group fighting the other group. They instigate trouble among groups. They instigate trouble among races. They are indeed, and also as you might suspect, behind the civil rights movement. With some exceptions, I don't believe Martin Luther King was a hardcore Marxist. They would love to have gotten him on their side. I don't think they succeeded. These Marxists are behind most of the CRAP that you see going on in the world for the past at least a hundred years.